What is happening, YouTube? Welcome, everyone, back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by today, man. It's your boy, Gorgeous Scott. And today, we are going to go over my entire setup. So if you guys are wondering what I have done, I'm going over everything. I'm also going to be leaving a link in the description below uh, to everything that I have done to the car. Uh, I've just been getting so many questions, and I just want to also say thank you to all the new subscribers. You guys have just been amazing. So many new subscribers have been tuning into the videos, and they've just been like, dude, your car is running so well. What do you have done to that thing? And some people even think I have more mods done than what I actually have done. On another note, I also want to say thank you so much to RT Life. Uh, he made a video about me about two and a half, three months ago, and he also stops by every now and then and says, dude, you're doing such a wonderful job with the platform, showing people, you know, what these cars can really do with just some bolt-ons and a tune. And dude, I just want to say thank you so much to RT Life. You know, with a name like his and how big he is in the Mopar community, it seriously just means so much to me that he stops by and he supports the channel. Uh, and even him coming out and making a video was just incredible. So thank you so much to RT Life, man. I know, you know, a lot of a lot of those bigger channels, they don't really take the time to support the, the, the smaller channels. And uh, that has not been the case with him. He's, you know, been stopping by, telling me how good of a job I've been doing, uh, tells me to keep pushing. And dude, seriously, just so amazing to have that kind of support on the channel. So thank you very much. So let's start into the setup that I have on the car because we have had so many people that have commented and saying, dude, you gotta have nitrous on the car. There's no way you beat a GT500. There's no way you beat a ZL1. You gotta have more mods on the car. Guys, I promise you, I could go through every little piece of this car and show you guys, I don't have nitrous. It is just a simple tune and bolt on car. And you know what? When you actually know how to drive the car, uh, it really, really helps out when you're racing these cars because a lot of people don't know how to drive them. And the thing is, when I first bought the car, I was not good at driving it at all. I would just rev up to about 1,800, 2,000 RPM, and that's how I'd race everyone. But when you actually rev the car up, get the car in the power band, you know, you have a good tune on the car, you have those other bolt-on supporting mods, these things can really, really perform well for what people think. We, we've surprised a lot of people out there with this car and the setup. You know, there's a lot of people out there that are like, no way, man, there's no way that car just has those mods on it. I promise you guys, that is all we're running on the car uh, is just simple bolt on the tune. So let's jump into the first mod that I wanna talk about, which I get a lot of questions, and that's the throttle body. I get a lot of questions about the Fastman 84 millimeter throttle body with the half shaft mod. Guys, it's a great mod. It's about $270, $280, I believe. And I actually heard that Dan, the guy that designs it, I heard that he actually is moving shops. So people at the moment are not able to get their hands on this throttle body. So I, I don't know when he's gonna start making them. I haven't talked with Dan in a while, but he does make one damn good product. And we even ended up picking up uh, quite a bit of horsepower and torque. So if you guys wanna go check out that video, uh, I'll put that in the link uh, or in the description below. I'll put a link to it. Oh, uh, you guys can check that out. The other mod we have is the Magnaflow Catback exhaust system. We have the Performance 3 inch, and uh, I'll give you guys a little uh, little sound of what it sounds like when you have, you know, the 3 inch uh, Catback. And I also have no mufflers uh, on the car at all. Let's give you guys a little sound clip of that. Really do like the sound of this exhaust especially with that three inch the three inch pipe all the way back with no mufflers it sounds amazing all right moving on to the next mod everybody knows i have this is the jay green 93 octane tune you guys can contact him through facebook i'll put the link below if you guys are wondering what the link is to get in contact with him and this tune has just been incredible i've done a bunch of revisions with the tune and it is a 93 octane tune and it's been amazing it really has been amazing guys picked up great power on the car and i mean we've done we've done quite a few things since i first got it on my car you know we've done the throttle body we've done the different uh filter we've done the uh different fuel we've done the 109 octane fuel we've done quite a few things and another thing is if you guys are looking to get a little bit more power out of these cards you guys can run 109 with them and i would like to at some point get a tune on the 109 uh, and even pick up more power. We pick, we picked up power on 109 and a decent amount of torque too. And so eventually I wanna go and get a tune to even get more power out of that fuel. 
The next mod I have is I do have the AFE track series intake. As you guys know, it's full carbon fiber and that thing has been amazing as well. Awesome. I have really low intake temps with that intake and it has just been, it's been running amazing. It really has. I cannot complain with that intake. It is expensive, but it's been running great on this car guys. The next thing that I have done to the car is I have the 180 degree thermostat, which I recommend to all of you guys out there who are driving the 392s, man. Get yourself a 180 thermostat because it helps a lot with the coolant temps. Your coolant temps usually will sit about 203, 204, 205 with this car, with the stock one. And if you guys go and get the uh, 180 thermostat, it will usually sit at about 180 to 185 and it also cools down the car a lot quicker than the stock one. If you're sitting in traffic with the 180 degree thermostat and then you actually start moving again, it cools down insanely fast. Uh, and, then, and then once you jump onto the highway, it goes right back down the 180. And then once you actually go and get the tune, uh, you get your tune revised for the 180 degree thermostat. It's gonna help a lot when you're in traffic. When you're in traffic or you're waiting for something, the tune on the car is going to keep those temps a lot lower than if you didn't have the tune on the car. So that's kind of something to expect if you get a 180 degree thermostat and then you wanna get a retune on the car, is you're going to notice those, those temperatures will definitely stay lower uh, to when you didn't have the tune. One other thing that I have done to the car is I actually have the bottom of the back seat out because no one sits back there and I thought I would just take it out. Now I don't have like the actual backrest taken out. As you guys can see, that's still in there. I just have the bottom piece, which is probably only like 15 to 20 pounds, uh, maybe 25 at the most. Uh, it's not a lot, but I thought I'd just take it out uh, just because. And guys, that's pretty much everything we have done to the car. I'm running 93 octane Chevron fuel. I'm running AMS oil uh, for the oil and the filter. I, I do run fuel additives from time to time, as some of you guys know. And guys, that's pretty much everything that we've been that we've been running on the car. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I really hope this helps you out. Check the description below for all of the mods. I'm gonna put them down there. Really appreciate you guys stopping by. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.